is Cheryl from Alaska and I just wanted to hop on real quick and say hi and see how you guys are doing for the new brand new year. Can you imagine the brand new year 2021? It's going to be an awesome year and I'm just excited and passionate about it. I wake up like that because I have so much. It's a new week guys. It's not only a new week, it's a new year. It's New goals, new visions, new dreams. Ah, keep growing. All those wonderful things we have to look forward to and can change anything we want in our life because we can plan it, right? We can plan that. We can we can decide, well, we want to do this or we're going to go there and do, you know, whatever. And so it is our choice, our choice to plan, which is wonderful. Hey, thanks for joining me. Appreciate you guys getting on. I'm up here in Alaska on an island and I don't know where you're tuning in from would love to know where you're at right now we've got like rain and wind so usually I'm outside but not today I was gonna go out by the harbor but it's just too windy <laughs> so we're inside for this time but I just wanted to get on and say hi everybody and appreciate you getting on so much we're talking about 2021 and what we've got going on and what we're planning because if you want new things, new life, new anything, you want to plan it, right? You got to plan it if you want that. And so it's exciting um, and planning and waking up with passion and excitement, period. It boosts your day. It really does. Fuels your brain even. So what wonderful combination you would want there, right? You plan in your day and your weeks and your months and your year your entire year it's exciting it really is to have a fresh start of I a mean, new year no matter what happened yesterday or last year you've got a whole new year now to plan and i i wanted to mention something very peculiar we want to kind of steer away from too and it's um new year's resolutions everybody makes them they're a great thing to try to plan new things and and do better, you know, improve yourself. Um, a lot of people go to the gym, right? They they want to start out getting in better shape, doing, feeling better. Everybody wants to feel better because then your life's better, right? When you feel better. So the new the gyms, they prepare. They prepare for New Year's, um, January, the new year, because they get lots of memberships. Because people make those resolutions. They want to get in shape and they want to go to a gym. And so there you go. It's... Uh, Memberships are surging in the month of January and gyms are being flooded. Maybe not as much this year, but usually, okay. And this, this example is incredible because now here's the statistics on it. All these people go to the gym, right? They've made their commitment. They're going to do better. They're going to have a better year, right? And guess what? 80% new members that join a gym in January, will quit in five months. They will quit. Oh, now, what's that? What's that mean? They really weren't that committed. They got tired of it. They, they don't like feeling better. They didn't want to go to the gym. They didn't want to... It's hard. Okay, it is hard, right? Exercising is not easy if you haven't done it, especially after the holidays. You know, you gained a few, whatever. You know, it's, you're, it's harder for you. So, it's all those reasons, perhaps, but 80%, that's not a good statistic, really, for a group of people that want to do better but failed. I mean, you know, they quit, and that's the same, really, and we don't want to go there. We don't want to be that person. I mean, if you have all this stuff you're going on and going over for your personal life, your business life, your family life, you've got all these things you're planning for the new year, and, you know, you don't commit, you don't focus, you don't stick with it, you don't even make it half a year, that's not good, you're not really serious, you're not very committed, you know, and you don't want that, because what a difference your year makes when you do that. I mean, last year I had so many blessings and so many new things happen in my life because I did this, you know. I had new cash flow, more family time, more vacations, I mean, it was all better and better and more improved even though it wasn't the greatest year for most people you know this is the thing though and I really really like the idea hey Moses thanks for getting on you're so wonderful thank you so much so I really wanted to point out that we don't want to be like those people that go to the gym at the new year's resolution in January this month right here right 
We don't want to do that. We want to really focus and be committed because it does make a difference. I'm proof of that. It makes a big difference. And the thing you got to do when you get up in the morning, the morning's my time to do me, you know, to re-inspired um, and think all that through tr troubleshoot things that didn't seem right and just, just kind of set my day. It really does set my day and I'm passionate and excited about all the amazing things that are going to be happening. See, so it's so important you have that in the morning. It really is. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. So when you get up, that's the first thing you want to do because it does boost you, fuels your brain, all of that for your whole day, every day. And the next thing you know, we'll be in another year and you'll look back and you'll say, wow, I'm so glad I did that. And the trick is you got to take action. Nothing happens. You can plan every morning, but if you don't take action, it doesn't mean much, right? Just like all those people that went to the gym. Oh, they went to the gym for a little bit, but boom, they stopped taking action and all the wonderful gains they would have, all the better feelings, all the all the things that would come with doing that, they weren't going to be able to see it because they quit. Now, what, you know, that's sad, really. When you look at that and look at those statistics, it's really sad that happened. So I want to encourage you guys, don't be that way. Don't do that. Plan all kinds of new things and take action because it makes a difference. Made a difference for me in 2020 and now with 2021, I'm just pumped about what's going to happen this year. Because I have so much I want to do and I'm just excited. I want to get two more income streams in 2021. I have one. I want to add a couple more because... Multiple income streams make sense in this world. You always have backup for your backup, right? Always have a way that you're in good shape. Safety net, you know, maybe. And, you know, you want that for yourself, for your family, for your, you know, your whole orb of people that watch you, that are inspired by what you do. And you can do that. And that's, that's really key. You want to be able to do that, help people in so many ways. I mean, I feel so much better this year than last year, actually, so much. And I've um, got more energy, and I'm just excited about how much better I'll be next year. And my business is growing, and I'm excited about that. And like I mentioned, I'm going to have multi-income streams this year, probably this month. And I had lots of things going on with my family. You know, you want to look for the good in everything, right? You you want to go there because it makes such... Remember that movie, Pollyanna? She did that. Remember how it brightened up the entire town. Really does that, has that effect. It really does. It's not just a movie. It's true. And we want to do that. We want to be able to enjoy and have more happiness and joy in our life than ever before. And, you know, in 2020, I made over $9,000 and at last half. And that really has blessed my family as well. And now in 2021, it's going to be the best year ever. Because I've already made almost 10000 now, just starting just a few days in January. So I'm so excited about being able to level up every, every aspect of my life. And so I hope you want to do the same thing. Let's do it, guys. It'd be so awesome. So I appreciate you getting on and watching. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful week and a blessed new year. Plan that year, execute it, and take action and see all the wonderful blessings you get. So thanks for watching. Bye from Alaska.